Are you, are you here to look at some cars or what? Yeah, I'm kind of just looking around. This one is very, I mean, it's an incredible car. What's your name is? Travis. Um, my name is Bill. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Bill. How, how many cars do you think you've been looking at today? Quite a few of them? Ah, huh? yeah. First place I stopped. Yeah. This is a very nice one. It's a, I think it's like a 19 old. 2004 model, and it's a Chevrolet. It's very unique. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. That's why I'm not too sure about it. What? Oh, small. Oh, you want to see small? Look back here once. I'll show you. It's small. I don't know how. It opens up. This. You've got a four doors and a one hatch back here. <laughs> yeah. That's the a hatch. Very neat. It's kind of small back here. Like you. I'll show you what I mean. Keep something in mind now. This is one of them cars you're not going to just find everywhere. I mean, it's just it's here. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. It's got a lever over here. Oh, no. Hey, come over here. Let's talk about... Small now, huh? Who's talking now? It's very unique, isn't it? You can put a duffel bag back there full of whatever you want. I'm supposed to make this work for a family. You don't, you're not supposed to even have a family right now. We're in a recession, don't you know? Where have you been, huh? Seems like it's some parts missing or something. It happens. It's a used car lot, man. What do you expect, anyways? Do you want to look at this one or not? You keep calling me ma'am? What's your name is? Travis. Well, it's nice to meet you, Travis. <laughs> name is Fred. Okay. thought it was Bill a minute ago, but... Well, see, the problem with you customers is you're always giving us sales, guys, a hard time. I'm just trying to do my job, man. I'm trying to feed my family, and you got your own family that you want to put inside this automobile. It's very safe. Let me talk about safety with you a little bit, okay? Can you show me where, like, the... Door locks are on this thing. What do you need locks for? You live in the big city. Just uh, in case I wanted to, uh, you know, hit a button and unlock a door. It's not a button-operated facility. I tell you that. You just pull on it and you do it. Give it a try. Look at it. I'm pretty used to having all the extra stuff on it. You kind of. I'll give you an extra set of keys if that's what you mean. That's extra stuff, and I won't even. Sometimes them dealers, they try to charge you for it. I mean, let me tell you, not here. Not here. Not with one of these cars. This is a very random car. It's very nice. See how that operates in the, when the seats fold down? You get your wife back there, you really could get at her. I'm telling you. One of kind, huh? I don't think we should even be talking about my wife right now. Let's just stick with the car. Steve, let me tell you something, Steve, about this car. Okay? That's that's the sunglass hut right there. You can market that. Yeah. Okay, Chad. We'll, we'll Patent pending. I know that for a fact. I learned it in the classes that they make us go through. I got lots of classes. I'm telling you what. They made me go to some weird classes to do this sale and stuff. Look at that shift or not? It's really bright blue, isn't it? It's only one of in, out of a hundred. Unique, huh? Open up. Quit looking so in depth. You want. You want to make me an offer on this one, or do you want to leave? Right now, it's kind of looking like two dollars. I mean, I'd like to find something. Does this thing even open up? It's okay. It's got a motor in there. What else do you need to know? It's got one. Just deal with it, okay? All right. Now, Greg, what if I go and change the oil? What oil? What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't push on my automobiles now. Just turn to check. I mean, it's just Molly, easy take it there. easy on this car. It's very. You don't come into someone's lot and push on stuff. I right? just push on you. You like it? Not really, no. Let me ask you something, Steve. If you were, if you were to go to like your family and they had a reunion and you were eating food, would you bring this car there or what? Oh no. <laughs> very good, huh? Nice. I couldn't have a stack in this thing. But you get gas mileage. That's what this talk is all about. And it's
the community was talking about it last night. I'm telling you what, it's very it's a good car. It's got Chevrolet. What more do you want? It's got a wiper blade, even. You got a deal or what? I don't know. This thing doesn't even look like it run for very long. What am I supposed to do with it after it dies? Finance it. If it quits running, you get a new one. You better hope the payments are low, because I'll guarantee it's going to break down. So you guys got extended warranties on these things, or what? Yeah, it's like a 30, 30, 31. 31 what? 30 seconds and 30 feet. And we can push it 30 feet. Now, do you want to buy it, or do you not want to buy it? It's a simple question from me to you. See? Simple handshake. I mean, come on. We're both men here. Sit down, we'll have a juice box, and we'll talk numbers, okay? With licorice? Licorice? You know, I don't have licorice, but I'm sure I can make a, I can make a telephone call and get you licorice. If that's what it takes to earn your business, Steve, I will tell you what, I will get you a bag of licorice in the, in the juice box. What do you think? I can sit down and talk about it. I don't like to sit down. Pushing Pushing car by you to tell me what to do all the time. And get in there. Now put this ignition in the key. Try it once. Look at it, it even started. That's a major plus. Most of them don't even run. This one actually started by God. It seems like it just wants to fall off. It probably will. It's not a big deal though. It's not like it's a big important part. Just don't worry about that part. Don't mess with the headlights either, okay? We don't own this yet, remember that. It's not a, this isn't a toy. Holy sh- Nike, you did.